Even in the United States, you have, even with the counter-reformation of the Roman Catholic Church, you had institutions and universities were established in, uh, in the United States uh, that were established just to train Roman Catholic priests, such as, for example, Notre Dame, for example. And so across all of these traditions, whether it was the Roman Catholic Church, the, some of the dissident churches, uh, the Anglican churches, whatever, they are establishing universities and institutions across the globe to help equip their ministers to share Christ in any given context. And I think that's just a connected part of history that many of us forget. You mentioned earlier that sometimes those in Pentecostalism maybe look at an education with a little bit of a shade, right? Sure, they can be taught out of their belief. Exactly. Um, in fact, my, my, my own father kind of cautioned me when I started coming to Southwestern really? Christian University. Yeah, uh, and he knew, he died shortly before I finished my degree, but he knew I was going to go on to graduate studies. Mm -hmm. And he cautioned me, and he, one of the very last things that he said to me was, uh, always allow the Holy Spirit to lead you and guide you when you're evaluating scripture and doctrine. And there's, there's a lot of deep truth into that, that it really kind of roots itself into the Protestant Absolutely. Reformation, right? Yeah. Uh, but at the heart of all of these Christian institutions lies that goal, right? They want to stay true to their tradition. They want to stay true to scripture. And that is what Southwestern Christian University wants to do. We are staying true to our Wesleyan Pentecostal tradition. Um, we are Protestant, we are Wesleyan, and we are Pentecostal. And so Southwestern taps into that historical lineage or that historical heritage of wanting to equip people to share the gospel, uh, but also do so within a tradition that uh, these students find themselves in. Yeah. Um, but we are at the same time, a lot of your students are going to be coming from a Pentecostal holiness background, but we're, we're a diverse group. We have all kinds of students that come from different faith backgrounds here at Southwestern, but we are a liberal arts university, and so we want to teach these students how to have conversation and how to have yeah. dialogue with each other and not feel intimidated, not, not feel like they have to resort to maybe harsh language or you know, <laughs> just bickering. Uh, you know, the society that we live in today, they, they find themselves doing that quite a bit. They, that, that dialogue, that civil discourse, right, sure. it very quickly descends into something that could be nasty at we times. We can't respectfully disagree anymore. If you disagree, that means you don't like me or it, that you hate me or that we, we can't be neighbors even exactly. because we disagree on what communion is. Exactly. And I think Southwestern is just like any other Christian liberal arts university in that context. We do come from a tradition. We do have our core values that we will stick to and we will, we will abide by those and we will teach those. At the same time, we're going to expose our students to other thoughts and other ideas and other movements and, and help teach them to and help prepare them to be able to dialogue with those other individuals, especially as ministers of the gospel. We want to be prepared to have those kind of conversations, correct? And I think Southwestern does a great job in doing that. It's equipped me to do that. I think it's equipped you to do that. And I think it'll be a great opportunity for your ministers as well. I think that's fantastic. The goal is that we're constantly presenting, here's who we are, here's our doctrine, without the intention or even the manipulation of indoctrination. Sure. And I think that's really important. We are a Pentecostal, holiness, historical, Christian school. Yeah. And we allow good, healthy conversation. Exactly. I think that's fantastic. It's one, it's one of the reasons that I love this university is because I got to go through all these different courses. And while they were integrating faith and learning, from a distinct Wesleyan Holiness Pentecostal perspective, it was fascinating to begin to hear and learn about the other interpretations of Scripture or the other doctrines, which I disagreed with, sure. but it's good to know historically where the church has been, where it is going, and how I can learn from heresy and error and good sound theology as well, that it's not all bad and that it's not all good, and that we are a constantly growing and maturing uh, people as the body of Christ. Some of us are healthier than others. Some of us are sicker <laughs> than others. And that really has to do, I think, with what you're talking about, growing in the, uh, in, in the grace and knowledge of Jesus Christ, which regardless of the course is always at the heart of the teacher, always at the heart of the curriculum, exactly. and hopefully is always at the heart of the student that's coming here. Exactly. Every course has kind of a key scripture or a key spiritual doctrinal idea that kind of serves as the foundation. And they're going to find that no matter what the class is, whether it's college algebra, church history, accounting one, it doesn't matter. It's, it's going to be there. Uh, and I think that's important. If I might, I'm uh, just to share a personal testimony for yeah, myself. Sure. Like I said, I, I completed my degree here at Southwestern Christian University in the adult program. 
coming here, I came out of the Assemblies of God. I, my, my parents were both Assembly of God ministers. Um, and I came into the IPHC uh, through the Heartland Conference, came here at Southwestern Christian University, like I said earlier, to kind of evaluate my beliefs for myself, to learn and to discover. Coming here exposed me to the teachings of John Wesley. I remember sitting in a, a Wesleyan theology course uh, with Gary Burchett and was reading a textbook and exposing myself to some of the theology of John Wesley. And it, it, it sparked a passion that continued from when I started in 2008 to this day. And I'm working on a PhD uh, program right now where my doctoral research is going to be centered around the historical analysis of the doctrine of sanctification from John Wesley through the holiness oh, movement cool. to the founders of the IPHC. And so my, my experience at Southwestern had opened up a door for me to continue to serve not only my local church, not only Southwestern Christian University, but the denomination that I belong to. My research is ultimately going to help contribute knowledge to not only the academic field, but to the International Pentecostal Holiness Church. And I think those opportunities are available for any student that starts here at Southwestern Christian University, if the Holy Spirit, if God opens up those doors for them to do that. Um, you can come and complete your degree here, undergraduate degree, you can complete a graduate degree here, doors of opportunity may open up at other institutions, and then you might find yourself not only going back into your local church and being a better pastor, but being able to contribute on a global scale to the knowledge of Pentecostalism, to the knowledge of Wesleyan holiness, or to the knowledge of theology in general. And that can all be because of a, plea that, a, a seed that was planted here at Southwestern. Was your heart strangely warmed while you were reading Wesley? Uh, it was, yes. <laughs> <laughs> History joke. All right. Exactly. Um, for the five people who... And get, yeah. get that reference. <laughs> um, did you have a favorite class while you were coming and doing the adult studies program, or was there a particular course or instructor that stood out in your mind or really impacted you? Obviously, the Wesley text. I was going to say, that, yeah. yeah. So the one of one of my favorite classes was that Wesleyan theology course with Gary Burchett. Um, the textbook was actually looking at um, the social praxis of Wesley and the, the early Methodist uh, societies there within Britain. So that was very fascinating to me. And the idea that for Wesley, uh, for his theology, for his understanding of who God is, that it is to, uh, that for him, holiness was loving God and loving people. Yeah. And that was, that was a conviction that had been planted in my heart just before that class. And uh, after that class, some things happened in my own life where I spent a couple of weeks in a hospital recovering uh, from, a, from a disease, and I had plenty of time to ruminate and to think about what that meant. What did holiness mean? What did sin mean? And that's really what sparked this, long, this lifelong journey of mine to study and to evaluate the Wesleyan doctrine of sanctification and how it plays into the International Pentecostal Holiness Church. Um, I have other favorite professors that I've had, one of which has stayed uh, a, a mentor in my graduate and doctoral studies, but he's also a very good friend of mine, uh, Professor Ken Young. He's the, at that time, he was a direct, he was the director of the adult program. That's right. At that yeah. point, when I was an adult student. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. He, wow. So you had it when he was in charge. I did. Yes. Yeah, so cool. And, yeah. Um, and in fact, in my in, in my own situation, I was I was just freshly married. I hadn't been married maybe two years. I married my wife pretty young. She already had some kids by that point. And um, I was working a full-time job and I had to support a family of four. And um, at my age, I probably should have went to a traditional program, but uh, Southwestern Christian University enabled me to come in and complete my degree here while I was working a full-time, supporting my family. And Ken Young was a, was a mentor starting at that, at that point, uh, admitting me into the program, uh, having conversations with me, not only during class, but sometimes after class, um, and over coffee or over a lunch meal. And, and to this day, Ken Young is, is a good friend of mine, and we have a lot of discussions and a lot of debates. We go to church together. Uh, he helped contribute to my research, and hopefully I help contribute to his as well. <laughs> so um, there's, there are several individuals like that in my own life here at Southwestern. And I think coming here, every student will find a faculty member that they just click with, yeah. one that just that there's a there's almost like a kingdom connection, like the spirit is just quickening both of their hearts to say, you know what, this person, um, this person has a distinct call on their lives, and you can help them get there. I think every faculty member has that, and I think South, that's one of the unique things about Southwestern Christian University is that we do have 
such faculty members that are invested not only in the academic studies, right, but in right. the ministries and in the calling that God has on these individual students, that we want to help equip them and we want to help prepare them. But we follow up with these students. And we have several of us, we have rela continuing relationships with our students just to make sure um, that, that they are still going in that direction that God had placed them on. If there's anything that we can pray for them about, if we can help them, if we can support them, that's what we do here at Southwestern. And I love that uh, as a byproduct of teachers' affection and care and compassion, um, sometimes in hard lessons and sometimes in easy lessons. Sure. I, I love being able to call several teachers friends, yeah. that they weren't just mentors or professors, like you were saying, but that that relationship continues. Yeah. I think a lot of that, once again, has to do with the intention of the teachers, that it's not just here's the information, here's the degree, it's here's life. Right. And here's how we get in that iron sharpening iron aspect of our faith, that we grow together, that if sanctification is an individual process, then we're watching the body mature and yeah. becoming more like Christ at the same time. Exactly.